distinguished speaker of the day and honorable member of parliament dr shashi tarur executive director sidak tiruvananthapuram senior officers and dear colleagues it is my honor and privilege to introduce the speaker of the day dr shashi tarur born in london to Lund lily and chandran tarur on 9th march 1956 the young shashi tarur was schooled and boarded at montfort school in yerkard campion school mumbai and saint saviour's college calcutta He then went on to graduate with a Bachelor of Arts degree in History from the prestigious St. Stephen's College, Delhi. Young Tarur be began writing at the age of six, and his first publications appeared in Sunday edition of the Free Press Journal in Mumbai at the age of ten. A theatre buff in his school days, he played Antony to Mira Nair's Cleopatra in 1974 production of Antony and Cleopatra. At St. Stephen's in his early 1970s, He founded the Quiz Club. He also revived the Woodhouse Society. In 1975, he moved to the United States to pursue graduate studies at the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University, where he obtained his MA and MALD and was awarded the Robert B. Stewart Prize for the best student. He completed his PhD at the age of 22. Dr. Tarur is a real prodigy who acquired three degrees, two masters, and a PhD, all within a span of three years. In fact, Dr. Tarur is the youngest person in the history of the Fletcher School to be awarded a doctorate. He has also been awarded an honorary DLIT by the University of Puget Sound and a doctorate honoris causa in history by the University of Bucharest. Dr. Tarur's career in the United Nations began in 1978 as a staff member of UN High Commissioner for Refugees (UNHCR) in Geneva. His work included the his work including the boat people crisis which he led organizations rescue efforts at the sea and succeeded in resettling a backlog of vietnamese refugees and that as special assistant to the under secretary general during the peacekeeping operations in the former yugoslavia excuse me yugoslavia where he spent considerable time on the ground during the civil war in that country are worth special mention In June, January 2001, he was appointed Under Secretary General for the Communications and Public Information. As the head of UNDP, Dr. Tarur reformed the department and undertook a number of initiatives, ranging from organizing and conducting the first ever UN seminar on anti-Semitism, the first UN seminar on Islamophobia after the 9/11 attacks, and launching an annual list of 10 under-reported stories the world ought to know about. In 2006, the government of India nominated Dr. Tarur for the post of UN Secretary General. Dr. Tarur emerged a strong second behind Ban Ki Moon. Had he been elected, the 50, the then 50-year-old Dr. Tarur would have been the second youngest Secretary General of the United Nations. In 2007, Dr. Tarur concluded nearly 29 years of career from the UN in the post of Sec Under Secretary General. In May 2009. He was sworn in as Minister of State for External Affairs in charge of Africa, Latin America, and the Gulf. As Minister of State for External Affairs, he re-established long dormant diplomatic relations with African nations, where his fluency in French made him popular with Francophone countries and their heads of states. He initiated new policy planning activities on the Indian Ocean and represented India at the global events during his 11-month tenure as Minister. In 2012. Dr Tarur was re-inducted into the Union Council of Ministers by the then Prime Minister Dr Manmohan Singh with the portfolio of Minister of State for HRD. In this role he he took special interest in the problems and challenges of adult education, distance education and enhancing high quality research by academic institutions. As member of parliament of Tiruvananthapuram Dr Tarur became the first elected representative in India to issue annual reports on his work as MP. including furnishing accounts of his mp lads expenditure in 2012 he published a half term report followed in 2014 by a full term report presently he is a chairman of the parliamentary standing committee on external affairs a position previously held by former prime ministers shri atal bihari vajpay and shri ik gujral dr tarur is a pioneer in using social media as an instrument of political interaction He was India's most followed politician on Twitter until 2013 when he was overtaken by Shri Narendra Modi. Dr Tarur was has written number of books. Each book has been a best seller in India. 
His books include the classic, the great Indian novel, India from Midnight to Millennium, Nehru, the Invention of India, The Elephant, The Tiger, and The Cell Phone, Reflections on 21st Century India, to name a few. Dr. Tarur has been a columnist with a number of well-known English language papers, The Hindu, The Times of India, The Deccan Chronicle, The Indian Express, to name a few. Dr. Tarur has lectured widely in India and abroad and is often quoted for his observations, I quote, including this observation, I quote, India is not, as people keep calling it, an underdeveloped country, but rather, in the context of its history and cultural heritage, a highly developed one in an advanced state of decay, unquote. Dr. Tarur's accomplishments seem never ending, and I'm sure this audience is dying to hear directly from him. Dr. Tarur is slated to speak today on research and innovation. Sir, it's our privilege to have you as the first speaker of the Distinguished Lecture Series. We could not have had a better speaker on this for this occasion. Sir, it's my honor and privilege to invite you to deliver the first talk of the Distinguished Lecture Series at CDAC. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Shashi Tarur.